Hey guys, it's Emily and I'm here with Cholo Madaduena and we are spilling the tea here today. We're so excited for what's to come, but right now we're gonna throw it back a little bit. To okay. Parenthood. But first, would you like some tea? Sure, yeah, we yes, can, perfect. We can serve the tea. All right. Good. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right, let's see. Oh, nervous. We have first. Okay. Set secrets. Set secrets, okay. So who would you say on the Parenthood set has the most bloopers? Blooper, Dax Shepard. I, I guess they're bloopers in the sense that he didn't necessarily mess up, but they have so many different takes of yeah. comedic moments in the show that, That's amazing. that he really does. Getting emotional. What do you think was the toughest scene to film for you? And how did you, in general, kind of handle all the heavy topics at a young age when you were playing Victor? My aunt works at the Department uh, of Children and Family you know, Social Services. She's, she's a social worker. So because of that, getting to meet people who are actually going through the foster system. This was my first television role. And because of that, I really wanted to wow the, the audience. So doing the research, meeting people that are actually going through the system to make sure that it looks authentic yeah. on the screen was the biggest thing for me. The hardest scene, I remember a scene in particular where uh, Sam and Erica, they play Joel and Julia, my parents mm -hmm. on the show. They sit down on the bed and tell me that I'm gonna be getting held back. I think this is one of the first moments that I had to cry on camera. Would you rather? Would you rather be raised in real life by Lauren Graham, Monica Potter, or Erica Christensen? Eric, oh wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about their characters on the show or just their real life? Both. Okay, uh, <laughs> real life, I would choose Erica. I've been around her so long. Yeah. And she was someone that played my mom on screen. Yeah. As for characters, I would go with Monica's character. Uh, yeah, on, like on super one. mom, I would say. Yeah, she, she really is. Lauren could be the cool aunt. Impressions. Impressions. All right, so give your best impression. Oh, I suck at impressions. Of okay. Dax Shepard. Dax? Oh, he's kind of like, you know, he's like the cool guy on set. Oh, these are getting harder and harder. Harder okay, and harder, let's see. let's see. Moment of truth. Is there anything you kept from set? And if not, is there anything that you wish you could have taken? Uh, so I wish I would have taken those a scooter. I feel like there were a couple of knickknacks that I kept just like frames of, you know, the people from the cast. Mm -hmm. There was a giraffe that we would always play with uh, off camera mm -hmm. and it would annoy the heck out of uh, Sam. <laughs> Sam Yeager, not Sam the character. Uh, I feel like I took that home. I feel like that's somewhere yeah. in the closet somewhere. This next one. Calling out the pranksters. Were there ever pranks pulled on set? And if so, what was the craziest one? Hiding things in the background of the sets was a big thing. <laughs> uh, just, you kind of have to rewatch scenes and look in the backgrounds of the scenes for different, I can't think of a specific wow, one, but, okay. I, know, but I definitely know, but I definitely know that it's happened before. Okay. I think in the last season, there's a couple of instances where you Who was responsible it. for that? Like you guys or the um, directors? I want to say Ray Romano. Was <laughs> would just like great. place yeah, random just, things. Just things, not even with t like telling people. Just yeah, you, right. you it, it made it into post and it's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> most likely to. Who is the most likely to run for mayor? Like Monica did mm -hmm. on the show. So I feel I would be I think it's a tie. I think it'd either be Jason Ritter uh, okay. or Max Burkle. Yeah. Jason is the most gregarious person. I've ever met. I was 10, you know, yeah. you have people that were 80 on the show, and I felt like we all loved Jason just as much. He could have the worst proposal ever, and people <laughs> would be like, oh yes, we love you, Jason. Yes, <laughs> we'll follow you everywhere. Max, <laughs> we'll follow he's, you. Yeah, he, he's also one of the most intelligent people that I've ever met. I feel like he would have a really great plan for what to do in the situation of being a mayor. Moment of truth, this is the last one. Let's talk love. What a great way to end. We all love Dax and Kristen Bell. Mm -hmm. And was she ever like on set? Meeting Kristen on set uh, while she was pregnant was an experience like no other because to yeah. know that you know I touched her stomach <laughs> was 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 really really big. But love uh, that. They're really great. They're both very witty and funny, and it's almost like they butt heads a lot. Erica's husband is really, really nice. His mustache, he had a handlebar <laughs> mustache. Like they glued it all together and then cut it from behind 
so that it all stayed together. And then I think they have Whoa. it in a box or somewhere. And it, it's like, it what? still has the handlebar mustache shape. It's, wow. it's like a perfect, like, I thought he was a magician like it's or a something. Perfect, it's it's like, like a, it yeah. curls and everything. So you have a new show, Cobra Kai. Yes. So excited on YouTube Red. Cobra Kai is the newest edition of The Karate Kid. It takes place 30 years after what you saw in the original. You know, you are left on a huge uh, triumphant moment for, for Daniel. You know, he wins the the last match and you pick up to see a different perspective. Well, thank you so much. We learned so much about behind the scenes of parenthood. I'm so glad. And These we can't wait for to see the rest of Cobra Kai. So thank you. yeah, we'll be looking out. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>